Welcome to the DK Custom Products video. My name's Kevin, this is Dwayne, and today we're going to be talking about plastic on a Harley. So, you MA guys are going to find this video very interesting because, you know, I think this is probably one of the single most uh, important upgrades you could make to an M8 for engine longevity. So, recently, Kevin, you were up at JNT. B twin repair having some work done on your M8 tri glide, and you got some pretty helpful information uh, from the master tech there, Jamie. So, we're going to listen to Jamie talk about plastic on the M8 and why you might want to consider getting rid of that plastic before it leaves you on the side of the road. What I didn't plan for and I thought of years ago is replacing this plastic intake. We've already got the intake out. We're going to let Jamie talk a little bit about the problems with the factory intake and the benefits of putting an aftermarket intake in here. Pretty obvious, the problems with the factory intake. Plastic. Uh, I haven't saved any that I know of that are melted, but these things are absolutely notorious from engine heat for warping and melting around the flange area and causing an intake seal leak. So if you have a you know, if your bike's revving up, you know, it's idling higher than normal or you got a backfire when you let off the throttle, um, chances are if you have an M8, this is your problem. Uh, I strongly advise, this is the S&S version. Um, I think it's right around $200. Uh, it's obviously a whole lot better made. And Harley makes one. Uh, it's a pretty good intake too. If you've got the big uh 64 millimeter throttle body the the screaming eagle throttle body they make the intake for that as well um usually it comes with the throttle body in that case but uh, some people i've seen still have the big throttle body on the plastic intake so this is something that will save the life of your engine it will cut some of the heat out of your engine uh there's no reason for plastic to be in between the two cylinders on an air-cooled motor uh, or even in this case a water-cooled motor it's a uh, it didn't work for cadillac when they ran the plastic intakes, didn't work for Chevrolet, and it sure ain't working for ours. How does it uh, help the cooling? Well, you've got a heat sink. The aluminum will absorb more heat. That's part of what happens to that plastic piece is it absorbs heat then to a point where it melts. Um, the aluminum will not do that. I mean, there's a reason that, that every motorcycle had aluminum intake on it, or every Harley had aluminum intake on it until the M8s come out. And they definitely don't run any cooler than the other ones. We've shown that in testing. You've shown that in testing. So what you know, what are some of the symptoms? If they have a high idle, it could be an intake leak. If they have a high, if, if it's idling higher than normal, um, even a couple hundred RPM, or when you let off the throttle, you get a little backfire, or you get some hesitation when you give it throttle, those are all signs. If the motor seems to be running hotter than normal, those are all signs that's sucking air around the intake. And get it to a shop. Tell them you think you have an intake leak, and then any shop should know how to check that. Um, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a 30 second check with a can of starting fluid or, or brake cleaner or whatever. Um, we're going to spray it away from the, the air cleaner, but we're going to spray it around the intake surface and see if we can either drown the motor out or something changes. If and it does, it, it, it best case you got a bad seal. Worst case you've got a melted intake. Um, and if you go through the trouble of putting new seals on a plastic intake, put the metal one on it if you, you know, as long as they're available. Sometimes they're hard to find, but they seem to be getting better. Cool. So to me, it's unthinkable that they would use plastic right between the two cylinders like that. You know, it, it, on bikes that already have right. a heat problem. Yeah, and we try to cover for Harley as much as possible because of the EPA mandating this or that, so they're kind of handcuffed. But there's no excuse. This is this. just a cost saving. <laughs> right, right. We hope this tech tip uh, was valuable to you. It's definitely got me thinking about upgrading uh, my intake as you've done to yours. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, leave us a comment below or shoot us an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. Y'all right safe out there.